our recent ebook, we talked about microlearning. And that's also a topic I had under misconceptions in my book on myths. I still think it's a problem. As we indicated, the problem is that there are two things positive as microlearning, which are fundamentally different. So using one term is problematic. For one, there's the response, it's like YouTube. Here they're referring to looking up a problem on YouTube and likely finding a video that solves it. I've done that myself. The problem is it's not learning. If no learning occurs, that's okay because the problem's solved. There's already a term for this though, performance support. The other is breaking up a course into small bits, which is learning. Well, if done right, it's about reinforcing learning in little bits over time, which matches how our brain actually learns. That's space learning, by the way. But that's very unlikely to occur just by breaking up a course, because there's usually no plan for reactivating. Done right, it can be very effective, but just breaking up a course isn't going to do it. So I continue to think this is a misconception encourage you strongly to make sure you know which you need and that anyone you're working with does too.